Welcome back to the Over Comfort Podcast, you guys. I'm so grateful that you guys are here. Thank you for watching and listening from wherever you guys are at today. I'm so excited. I have one of my dearest friends um, with me. We're going to be talking about some fun things. We have the beautiful Karina Garcia. Uh, thank you for queen. having me. Thank She's an you. entrepreneur. She's a mama. She's a wife. <laughs> wifed her up Period. uh social media influencer she's she's done it all and that's what i want to talk about you with today like how do you balance it okay honestly i don't know you don't know <laughs> like, like, no. great question first of all thank you for having me oh, you know when your good. team hit me up i was like girl <laughs> you sure you want to have me on congrats on the podcast thank you, my i'm living for it it's doing amazing mm. congratulations I love the aesthetic. It's so you. I love it. But I'm happy to be here. So happy to be here. I'm excited. I'm really, really happy. You're an entrepreneur. You have, you okay, she has her own podcast too with her sister. I do. Myra, she's a twin if you guys didn't know. You know, they're, 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 really, they're really cute. Uh, chins and giggles. She also has the slime shop. Squishy bunny? Yeah, squishy bunny. Squishy bunny. And what else? Girl, she, YouTube, she's all YouTube, influencer, <laughs> all the things. <laughs> the vlogs, all of them. Yeah. Uh, like, okay, so before you had Mia, mm -hmm. how was it? So before Mia, I was really focused on, like, YouTube and stuff, you know. I started YouTube a while ago now. Like, I uploaded my first video, like, 10 years ago. But, like, I privated those. And then until, like, 2015, I started taking it serious. Right. But um, before her, I was just more focused on, like, my videos on YouTube, like, on my main channel and stuff. Because I still post, like, vlogs and stuff. Mm -hmm. But my main channel girl right now, she, she I haven't posted in a while. Same. So I was a, a really focused heavily, like, on work before her. After she came, I feel like naturally, like, my content shifted. I was posting more, like, on my vlog channel. Um, and, you know, very focused on being a new mom. She's now going to be two years old. So, like, I feel like I got it together now. And now we are also like working back like in the slime shop, really putting our all into that. So, you know, a lot of things have changed over the years, but um, yeah, she's a whole mom now and she's just trying to balance YouTube and all kinds of stuff. So Do you feel like it's been harder because, OK, look, there's like my mom was a single mom, right? For five, five crazy ass kids. <laughs> she had to work and leave. Do you feel like you have that balance well, she was a single mom. Thank God you have her own, right? Mm -hmm. But do you guys feel like you guys have to find the balance for yourselves? Like, between you guys as a marriage? Away from Mia? You know what? That's a really good question. <laughs> I don't think we, like, ever go out ourselves. Well, we're here together, you know? Right, 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 <laughs> like, right. at work and stuff. But, like, my daughter, um, whenever I have to go, like, to our warehouse, for example, for slime and stuff, a lot of times, like, my mom will take care of her while we work. But for us to, like, go out as a couple, like, on dates, we don't really do that. Like, now that you mentioned it, I'm like, holy shit, we, I don't think we actually, she like... Goes in, she yells at Raul in the car on the way home. I'm <laughs> like, wait a minute, do we actually go on dates? Like, I don't think so. But it's really, really rare. We don't. We should, but we don't. I'm, thinking, I'm like, I'm thinking, because it's like, there's a lot of parents out there that, like, have kids first time, and it's just like, they don't know the balance. I don't have kids. Uh -huh. So that's why I'm asking. That. I'm a little chismosa. I'm like, <laughs> I'm wondering, like, how do you guys really do it? Because she's a baby. Mm -hmm. She's a baby, and then uh, your brother Luis, too, has two little ones. And I don't like, know how he does it. The ba like, it's really hard, and it's not easy. So it's kind of like, yeah. I think it's really about making that time obviously no, between yeah. you guys for yourself as well mm -hmm. away from mia away from raul and then your alone time and well, stuff like i that. guess when i think about it you know like when we go like to work to the warehouse like she does have like a room there like, like in case we have to take her so she could feel like she's at home and stuff play with her toys and all but when we are away from her i guess at work i guess it kind of does feel like we're having like our alone time even mm -hmm. if like we're working because mm -hmm. you know the moment like i leave i'm like all right let's get stuff done yeah. i'm like super motivated yeah, yeah. to get a bunch of stuff done so i guess that is our alone time away from her but then like right after we'll miss her like oh we can't wait to go home and stuff but yeah and you know um it is hard like you know we, we only have one and she is a handful she's a really good baby but you know kids are a lot I just got a birth control girl because yeah. I've been avoiding birth control. I was going to ask you, do you want to have another one? Um, maybe in the next few years, but um, <laughs> they're a lot. They're a lot of work. Uh, so maybe like in three years or so. But I literally just got on birth control because I'm like, girl, like this is a lot. I can't risk it right now. No way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Seeing you guys is like, okay, 
I like it makes me want to have a baby, but then now you're like saying I'm like okay, it's a birth control. Like I mean, they're tissues. amazing. They are. But, no, I love I love I love kids, and that's why I'm, I let my sisters have the kids. Like my Very brother, good. like you know, it's just like <laughs> yeah, it's not the time for me, you know. But mm-hmm. I really admire that. I really really admire that because I see you take her, you know, and mm-hmm. it's you guys. I love that it's you and Raul as a unit working together mm-hmm. for the slime and like I just I think it's beautiful. I'm just very Thank sentimental you. about that. Um, <laughs> so speaking about slime, how did you guys get into it? Because I personally don't know. She's I like, know I just don't get it. I, no, I <laughs> love it. Kidding. I ordered from Squishy Bunny. Period. I'm like, you're putting my fingers and like, it gets all dirty in a long <laughs> That's time. So funny. But how did you guys get into it? So it's funny because like, okay, so I started off with DIYs on my channel mm-hmm. and slime was just going to be another DIY video. Like right. literally, I was just going to do another DIY video. Because it was an it thing. Yeah. At that time. But like at the time, like obviously slime has existed since like, I don't know, like the 70s. I don't know how long for a long ass time. But it was very like the basic slimes. Like when you would go on Pinterest, it was very much like the green goo, you know, like mm-hmm. the simple mm-hmm. slime recipe. And I remember I was like, I really want to upload like satisfying videos. Like just like, I feel like there wasn't a lot of like satisfying stuff like that on YouTube. So I was like, I want to upload some kind of like slime, that gooey stuff, but I want to do it different. So what I did was I like mixed shampoo with cornstarch and I made like a slime soap for your hands. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I was like, she's she's innovative. I was like, like she's going to do different. (laughs) So I just did that. And then um, after that, like, I mean, it did really well. And I continued with, like, the satisfying videos. Like, I did, like, giant stress balls that were, like, this big, and I would fill them with slime. And people loved it. And over time, I would just, like, do all these slime videos, and then I became, like, this, like, slime girl, slime queen, and... She really is. They really call her the slime queen. Literally, And I would buy your stuff, I think it was at Target. Yeah, When you had that little collab, I'm like... Yeah, Wait, I'm gonna support her. Oh my god, it's thank like you. No, me yeah, me in the pandemic, just right there sitting on my couch. That's so funny. No, but that's no, cool. Yeah. That's really cool. So, um, you guys have that going, right? You guys also have the Chins and Giggles podcast, which I have loved. I love thank the one you. with your parents because oh, thank I just you. feel thank like you. they got really sentimental about it. I'm like, oh no, oh, I love that episode. It was so good. It was. it was so good. And then you guys obviously have the funny ones with peter and <laughs> girl oh our God. podcast i just i i love i, I live for it <laughs> and you have it with myra obviously it's you mm-hmm. and myra are the host and i just filmed a podcast with my sisters about sister comparison it. right i loved it do you get compared to your sister especially because she's your twin girl oh, like that's been our whole life really our entire life and i was literally just watching that that episode uh-huh. with you and your sisters this morning when i was getting ready oh. And I was like, damn, I could relate so much to this because yeah. especially being twins, I feel like any twins watching this would be like, oh, yeah. Dude, okay, so it's cool life. having a sister. It's really oh, I love cool. it. I love it. But yeah. it's a pain in the ass, right? Yeah, like especially when you're a twin, like people don't even see you as like an individual. It's always like oh twins, twins, God. twins. Like they always yeah. see you together. Like growing up, like a lot of times you even get the same gift and you got to share and shit. I'm like, girl, what? Like, or like, or just in general with everything, everything is a comparison. I was always the big one. Like girl, I was always like 50 pounds heavier. So like, it was always a comparison. Always, always like, okay, so who's a pretty one? Who's the fat one? Or like, even now, like business wise, like Mm -hmm. um, who's doing more, who's doing less. Like, it's always like that. And I feel like that's just with every, like just siblings in general, but like, especially twins, like people almost see you as one mm-hmm. and they always got to like point out the differences. Yeah. Like always yeah. it's a thing. Yeah. How did, do you feel like it affected you guys' relationship as sisters in any mm-hmm. way, like any mm-hmm. point, did you feel like, oh, like fucking Myra or like, <laughs> no, <laughs> I actually feel like we're really close Yeah. for that reason that we know people that like this. the outsiders like always compare us. Mm-hmm. So like within each other, like we'll laugh about it. Like it's so funny how, you know, people don't see us as individuals. And I think that's why, like when we started YouTube, because Myra started YouTube before I did and she was doing like beauty and I went like the opposite way. Cause I was, I would do my makeup and everything, but I started doing idea wise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think we were so desperate to do like different stuff. Like to you're, make it you're a so, point. you're so desperate to have, be like an individual, right. like away from your twin. And I think that's right. why like we did different stuff. And even for like years, like for the first like eight years on YouTube, we didn't do anything together. Like people didn't even know we were like, people knew I had a twin, but like even till this day, randomly people will be like, what the hell? She has a twin. Like now I feel like we have like an audience that like obviously knows we're twins and stuff. But even just a few years ago, like we had no projects together. Nothing. It took a while. And then you guys yeah. started Gemela. Which is literally fire. Oh, thank you. 
That was like the best name too. And that's what I was wondering. <laughs> was like, that's I think that's awesome. Like I would love to do that with my sisters one day. But it's also like it's so hard. Like it's, it's like hard. ugh, like and you're a twin, so I feel like it kind of goes slightly a little bit different because mm-hmm. I have I look obviously different than my sisters so it's like harder to like make it. it you know what I mean mm-hmm. it's just it doesn't make sense but um wow yeah I'm really <laughs> glad that that I mess up your guys's relationship like you guys are no yeah and I feel like that's what it helps and I feel like there's other sisters that just kind of like fuck you like yeah I don't get that or like I don't want to fucking talk to you like or did they just grow grow up with that pain or resentment in their heart yeah like we always talk about this too how we're just so lucky to be united as a family in general and as sisters like you know you hear about people like you know sisters that don't get along and stuff and i'm like what like i i could never imagine me and my sister like beefing like ever yeah. like what the? like it's just so weird i don't know i like mean my sisters throw hands all the time I'm just <laughs> kidding so no 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 but yeah like i feel like because people talk so much crap about us and like uh-huh our families like it's just like there's no other way but to just kind of prove them wrong and like yeah for sure lead them differently mm-hmm. um do they compare you guys because of like both of you guys are married like husbands maybe yeah. um that i don't think so because i feel like i don't know like they look at like brian and then raul and it's kind of i don't mm. know like i've always thought about them like that that's how that i know I the difference noticed. no right yeah that i haven't noticed like any comparisons like with that and then also, I feel like we've kind of been, like, on the same, like, I guess, wavelength with things. Like, we both got married, like, years apart. We both had our babies, like, you know, mm-hmm. similar time. We mm-hmm. both got pregnant similar times and stuff. So I feel like we're kind of, like, I don't know. I feel like there's no comparison with that. At least. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah. I think because I know. But, like, <laughs> I'm, like, yeah. I know, who, I know who's who and, like, yeah. who does what. And, and then, I yeah. respect it, like, you know. Everybody mm-hmm. does their own thing. Like, you guys yeah. aren't supposed to do the exact same thing or dress glad, the yeah. same exact way. That's, like, for, like, when you're, like, five years old. Yeah. I'm very glad that we did, like, different, you know, content for the majority of the years. I'm really glad we did. And now, years later, it's been much easier to, like, partner together. Like, you know, in the beginning, I could understand, like, it's, like, having your entire career, like, from the very beginning, constantly twins, twins, twins. Like, I could see how there could be, you mm-hmm. know, the conflict. But because we did... Our, we went our separate ways for so many years. Um, you know, just recently we started like the podcast and then started doing like more projects together, like Himela Cosmetics. I feel like we were both like ready. We were like, okay, we've done our own thing. Like, let's do it. Let's go the let's fuck out. Yeah. I'm I, so sorry. I don't know if we're no, able to cuss here. Oh I'm my God. Cursing to don't worry. It happens. But, but yeah, we've had a blast. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. And I'm actually thinking, like, dang, it's crazy how we didn't do anything before. And like, before on YouTube, like, I don't know if you remember like this era where like people would fake having twins. Like, they would literally do, like, the split screen. Really? Yeah, like, to, like, you know, like, for the engagement She's like, stuff. we're the original twins. No, and it's funny because I'm like, dang, we really never took advantage uh, of being twins. We never yeah, juiced yeah. it, you know, but it's just funny. But, yeah. I and think there's a time for everything, though. Like, I think yeah. the, the Himela came out at a good time. Yeah. And I'm waiting for the next Girl, drop, me too. I'm so. like, girl, it's been almost a year. What? <laughs> They're like, uh, We really said, we came out with a brand and we're like, y'all are not ready. Like, all uh, these things coming out. And I'm like, <laughs> crickets. Like, what's the next product coming out? <laughs> we're working on it did you, damn. did you ever envision like okay so for me as a kid like i always wanted to be a teacher and then mm-hmm. look at me here sitting on a chair <laughs> or an influencer like we did you her. ever imagine your life to be where it's at right now no with the businesses that you have <laughs> no. married with a kid <laughs> <laughs> no girl no. she definitely did not envision herself nearing 30 making slime i'll tell you that like Dude. i did not it's funny because i actually just thought about like this one time where I was in fifth grade and we did like this little project where we had to draw ourselves like our, with our future job. And I drew myself so random. Like I didn't want to be this, but I just drew that because everybody else was like drawing nurses and doctors. And I drew myself as an author, which is like so random because I never oh. really like had like a huge interest in books like that. But I just drew myself as an author, which is funny because like, I guess like I did become one, but like with slime, you know, like mm-hmm, the slime recipes mm-hmm. and stuff. But I don't, I don't know what I had in my mind to like what i wanted to be even as, as a teenager i was like damn what am i gonna do with my life girl do you even feel like, like that yeah. now though girl i feel like everybody it doesn't matter where you are or like what height of success you're at uh-huh. everyone's worried like what's what what's do i do in the next five years like dead ass dude yeah i'm 25 yeah. i'm like what am i gonna like what if am i ever right? gonna get married am i gonna have kids or am i gonna like what if seriously on god like what if instagram fails us literally she's like, already TikTok failing us girl <laughs> 
like, she's already failing us there's nothing else i'm like okay like i gotta think of a plan b like Literally. there's things that you know i do privately like i don't post and it's like yeah you know not everyone has to i don't have to share everything mm-hmm. right but like do you feel like now you're in this age like do you know what you want to do later no and i feel like a lot of people like you know we see other people who we think have it together mm-hmm. and you're like dang like they got it all figured mm-hmm. out i could i promise you they don't like everybody's thinking of what their life looks like in the next 10 years and i feel like you could literally be like on top of the world and then like overnight yeah you know. that's why they said literally uh, what's her name yasmin beauty bird uh-huh. literally says take it un dia la vez and it's like okay no for real literally take it day by day because like, actually, I, we're really not promise like it's like Mm-mm. your life can shift like obviously you know my mom passed away like and the next day is kind of mm-hmm. like what the fuck am i supposed to do now yeah like, like how does life move on like exactly. how do you you had a baby you got pregnant life? like this like yeah. you weren't you weren't expecting it yeah, right my right. life made a full like what is it 180 360 or whatever <laughs> i think it's 180 right because it's like a different 360 is like a full circle I, right yeah uh, okay Three, like 180 because you know we need to go back to school <laughs> for real like i don't know my um math or whatever that's part of but yeah like it's completely different now like you literally like your new life is you have this responsibility and you're like it's not about me now and now it's about this person you know or even when you got married when you have yeah. a partner literally oh yeah no. yeah you learn you learn their um you know the things that you don't like about them and you're like damn you know there's like you're leaving this here or like me like girl i'm like low-key messy like i feel like it's all the way around sometimes i will be like you can't just like pick it up after you change i'm like no no you're supposed <laughs> to love me i'm like is it in your way he's like yeah i can't walk around <laughs> okay so obviously when you started youtube you'd again like you weren't expecting to grow as fast as you did mm-hmm. did you always have that fear of letting people in because i have that problem obviously like trust in like i don't have many friends like or influencer wise like I, I literally only though. talk to you, Alan, and certain other ones. And it's like, I'm very that. careful with that. Like, I even people that already have a following. Like, I just don't know if I can let you that in. So do you feel I like you have to be careful, especially, like, with your family and stuff? Yeah. So, you know what? I actually feel like I'm such, um like, open arms to, like, anybody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I've gotten told a lot by, like, family and stuff. They'll be like, you guys are stupid. In the like, they'll tell us, like, you guys are stupid. You guys just, like open up your whole heart and life to anybody and like and sometimes family will notice they'll be like you're totally getting used and i'm like no like i don't know i feel like i'm really oblivious to that is that Mm -hmm. the word yeah Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where i don't really like i don't know i'm open to like making friends with anybody like if i meet someone in a part at a party and even if they're telling me like i love you i love your videos like i'm still gonna like have a blast with you like i don't know like i'm very open to friendships but i will say in the influencer world I'm not as open to it and it's not because I guess I don't want to let them into my life. I could I could see that with you like 100% um with your situation, but with me for example, I think I'm just like I could be like socially awkward sometimes. Oh yeah. And some people mm-hmm. some people don't look that approachable. Yeah. Influencers or they don't scary. look like how they look on their videos. That part. Girl. Like cuz me and you both know of a good amount of people that no, are just not or like you love them and you're like, oh my God, I love your videos so much. And then I see you in person and I'm like, I don't even know if I could approach you. You look really like intimidating. Stuck or stuck up. Yeah. Like be real. Like no, stuck it happens. up and like just not as welcoming. Like it kind of just feels like, I feel like there's room at the table for everybody. Literally. Like there's room for absolutely everybody. And I feel like in LA within influencers, there's so it's much so competition. Cringy. And so like, it's I got to so be weird. better than this person or I got to do this and this. I got to have a fatter ass. And it's just like, <laughs> yeah, why can't we all be friends? Like everybody has different techniques. Like, let's say about makeup. Everyone has different techniques. Yeah. Like learn from each other. Like there's no reason to be like it's not weird, approachable. Yeah. yeah. Or like I'll go to an event and I'm like, I want to say hi, but like how much do I talk? I'm like, I'm like, I want to say hi. And like, I want to be like cool with them and stuff. But then also I'm like, I never want to make somebody feel like I'm like being a like, a fan girl either where i'm like ah you know like in their face mm-hmm, like that mm-hmm. i never want to make anybody uncomfortable so i feel like that gets in the way of me making friendships because i never want to be like encimosa mm-hmm. and then i'm just kind of like there standing there you know what i mean so i'm like i feel like i could be more social but i actually wanted to bring up how you and your entire family are like crazy welcoming Aww. like i don't even think you guys understand <laughs> 
you guys are your aura is like so like i don't know how to explain Aww. it like it's like how we said you meet like you know like influencers who are like on their high horse and you're like you're not even like that so, you know sometimes you're like girl <laughs> you're come the, on like no for real though and like you guys are like you aren't even in that like influencer Aww. you guys are like beyond that you know and you guys are just so welcoming like it's crazy i'm Aww. like you don't even have girl you could be a complete bitch and i'd be like well i mean i get it you know but you're not your Thank entire you. family all of you guys i'm like Dang, no and no, i think what i think it's because I think our cultures, like, because we're Mexican and we kind of just, uh, that clicked. And then it's like, it's, you just know, you read energies and you just mm-hmm. know, like, what's right and, like, yeah. who's here for the good reasons. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it, we definitely got that from you guys. And it's like, I appreciate that, especially you guys, because then I know, like, if I'm going to an event mm-hmm. and Myra and Karina are there, like, I know who I can fucking hang out with. Literally if not, same. I'm absolutely not going. Like, I will <laughs> not so go. Funny. And it's sad because it's like, it is work it's work it's what we have to do Mm -hmm. and it's like but do i really have to like give myself anxiety like really show up for like this and like it's not for a paycheck the little clicks and all i'm like there's so many clicks like there is there's a lot it's just so sad though that's why i was just like bro like that's why i'm so grateful like i could talk to you i could talk to myra i could talk to uh karen yasmin alan it's like and there's good people for like, sure they're there's all hispanic yeah. legit like they're all hispanic i'm not trying to be like mm-hmm. rude or anything but I it's kind of like 100 you you know who to click with and it's like i already know you and like obviously your guys's family has been amazing too like we've been half of the time you guys we're, we're probably drunk like, <laughs> literally we're yeah. drunk we're having fun it's like you know who like who to have a vibe with and i'm exactly. very particular about like who i let in and like who i actually have a drink with Period. Like because as you should. Once honestly. you drink with someone, that's like a whole different thing. Like that's true, yeah. Because then other emotions come out, and like true yeah. truth comes out, and it's like it's a vibe. Like mm-hmm. you want to be with the right people in the right company, exactly. And we should do that thing where it's like, who's the one influencer that you don't really hang out with, them and then we go like that. But no, we're not gonna cause the drama, guys. <laughs> I was here for but it. We I know. was like, okay, yeah, I no. Um, oh my god. That was good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so do you feel like you and Myra have misconceptions, or you, let's say you. Mm-hmm. I can ask Myra on her own, but a misconception about you. Like, people always think one thing about you. Mm-hmm. A misconception about me. Hmm. Like, say, like, in your comment section, people are, like, hating on you for one thing, and it's like, that's not true. I guess, like... um, I guess, like, with a slime thing, I get, like, more on their, like, misconceptions about, like, how they don't understand or, like, they're, like, why can't you guys just, I don't know. It sounds so, like, cheesy, but, like, literally, that's the biggest thing, I guess. Like, they think it's so easy and they're, like, oh, well, you're just making, like, a freaking goo. Like, why can't you just keep that in stock? Or, like, or it's so easy. It's just slime. Like, I don't know. I guess that. I guess that's where my mind goes when I think of that. They think it's just like easy and stuff, but a lot goes into it. Um, You know, we have like our mixers and stuff, but we're there like all day, every day. We try our best. It's like a science. It literally is. Like making slimes a science. Like It is. Cut some slack. I feel like and anything that anybody does, like even for me, like with all the other crap, it's like they judge you for every little thing. Yeah. You're doing something wrong. Like, Mm -hmm. but it's. It's at that point, like, at least for me, it's kind of like, I just want to get it. I want to do it for me. Mm-hmm. I'm not necessarily, if you guys like what I'm doing, it's because uh-huh. you follow me and because you yeah. want to learn. And it's like, but then there's people yeah. that just follow us for like, just to literally hate. No, that's true. Yeah. Just to be like really mean. Mm-hmm. How do you handle that on you? Yeah. You know what? I don't know. I think I, over the time, I just kind of don't look at the comments. Like, mm-hmm. uh, it depends. I feel like there's certain um for example my main channel i feel like that honestly like over time over the years i kind of stopped looking at the comments because there's always going to be hate comments all the time um and even now like i'm not gonna lie like hate comments like they could get to me or you know sometimes tiktok's vicious i feel like tiktok i actually feel like i have so much more potential that i could be posting to my tiktok 
Like, it's so weird because, like, with the slime account on TikTok, on that one, I feel really comfortable to post it. But, like, on my main TikTok account, I literally haven't posted, like, in almost a year. Mm. And I think it's because the audience is so, like, scary. Yeah. Yeah. They're, that I'm, like, mean. They're so mean. And These I think because it hits, like, di- <laughs> they really do. Like, it hits a different type of audience, yeah. which is good. Yeah. But then it's, like. Mm -hmm. please don't be mean like i I don't know like you really they don't know us they don't know or we don't know (laughs) them either and it's kind of like i don't know it holds me back well it really does it does i think about like all these tiktoks in my head and my friends always have to tell me like keep posting keep posting it's like you guys don't get half of the shit that i get like or obviously us like they just i feel like no one really understands it Mm -hmm. besides us or how it makes it feel like it literally makes you feel nasty or like whatever they're talking about. If they're talking about like your weight, it's kind of like, yeah. Fuck. And it's Dude, like, yeah, I was called slime for years. <laughs> They'd be like, you look like slime. I'm like, girl, leave me the fuck alone, girl. <laughs> no. Like, it's so true. Like, oh my gosh. And I think it was, that's the most hate I got in that time, girl. Really? Like, cause you know, like the videos would go viral and stuff. So all these comments would be like, yeah. God, they're going the hell in on me, girl. Yeah. But um, over the years, I feel like it's actually like a lot of the hate has like diminished now. And I think, I don't know. I feel like, or maybe I'm just more used to it now. Yeah. Did you feel yeah. like you ever had, you ever felt like you wanted to give up because of it? Um. Yeah. In the beginning, in the beginning when I was like really fresh to it, I was like, oh my God, I hate it because I feel like sometimes common comments could get to you. Mm-hmm. Um. And I hate to admit this, but when I first started YouTube, um, it's so sad, but like, that I, when I think about it, but I feel like I had a, like a heavier accent, and I hate that the comments made me like try not to have too much of an accent, like that ass. Wow. And I'm like, what the hell? But like the like fact your, that I, your your Mexican accent? Yeah, I feel like I had. I more never of an noticed accent. that. Like if you like if you look back at my videos, uh-huh. or I was, I feel like I have like a I'm very like expressive. You are. Uh huh. And if you look back at my videos, I was very like ha, ah, like just like this like. Just why crazy. she makes those faces why she yeah does like very animated oh my God. yeah and i feel like over time like i started to like mute myself mm-hmm. like a little bit in certain things and i'm like oh, i hate that i did that like that i literally let them get to me but i mean maybe i have calmed down over the years too you know she's a mother now and maybe like things have slowed down and stuff so mm-hmm. i don't know it's a combination of things but yeah i've definitely let comments before affect me now they still do sometimes. Sometimes I really will. Like on a good day, girl, I will reply to you. Yeah. And or, I'm give like, it, oh. or give it to them. <laughs> I feel like for me, I don't reply to them. Mm-hmm. I have the filters, obviously. I'm just Period. like, I don't yeah. have the time or day to mm-hmm. see that shit or to give it the energy that it deserves. But yeah. like, if it's like you guys mm-hmm. or if it's Alan or something, I'm like, leave him alone. Period. Mind your own business. Oh, people! The internet is so mean. It's like for what? And the world depends on it. It's horrible. Like cancel culture. Yes, everyone has to get canceled. And it's like, okay, I'll be honest. I've said like, oh, that person's canceled, or this, this, yeah. yeah, When it happens, but it's kind of like, but why do you guys do that? Like you guys are literally cutting someone's paycheck. Literally. Or I think about I'm like, of course, like some people need to be held accountable. Like I fully understand that, but I'm like, dude, like. God forbid one day, like, someone gets so much hate that, like, something horrible happens. Like, that's, that's what people are going to realize. Yes. A lot of people. And honestly, it's gotten almost gotten to that point for me when mm. I started. Like, it's so messed up because we also have the reality show. And it's like, mm-hmm. it was TV and then it was YouTube. And then it was, like, obviously my sisters and all this crap. It's just, like, it's not, no one's ever happy. And I think it got to the point where it's, like, I'm gotta, I have to be okay with not making everybody happy. Mm-hmm. even in like personal life like yeah. my family like I've I had this one uncle I had this one uncle who didn't like what I was doing as my job yeah and it's like but you're not paying me yeah and it's a lot of the people on the internet don't like that we're influencers or that they don't like that we have our own businesses and all this like, stuff and it's cares? like what else do you want me to do yeah like what exactly do you want me to do I can't get a normal job yeah. I can't go work at do you, literally, you really can't clothing girl. shop like no, I, I can't get that. and at this point you can't either i get it yeah you have a baby uh-huh. and a husband and it's like a lot of people have that hard time it's like i can't do that anymore i can't mm-hmm. do what normal people do like mm-hmm. so it's like how i have to do what the money's i'm gonna have to make money somehow yeah, yeah. like and you know and we're so blessed to be able to yes. do it this way yes so like 
why not you know so what is it about them like why like, though what? like no for real like you see those comments all the time too on people you know commenting on like you know like influencers and creators like oh like you know they have no talent and mm-hmm. they're doing this and that but when you really think about it you know building like an empire from down, from down, nothing down. and mm-hmm. from the ground up that is a talent in its own and it's for money. you to do that it's a lot of money mm-hmm. it's like you don't know how much it's invested time energy it's like those little things count and matter we're definitely not sitting on our asses like no, people, people think yeah people really think we're just here like no just recording just one sh- that one take i'm like girl every it goes, a lot goes into yes, it just one video. editing takes time or like mm-hmm. Like creating things. This it's is just, a whole production, not, dude. Right now. Like it's for real. Like yeah. And on top of that, you have a baby. Like yeah. it's not easy. And I just I hope that people can understand and like see like we're not just sitting on our ass. Like yeah. Kim Kardashian said, "Get your ass up and work." <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. but for real, like like it's it's a lot of time, and I I really hope that people feel compassion, like and really see like this is this is part of work for me like i want to help yeah. people and i feel like that's more important than the money that comes in mm-hmm. or like what you talk about like it's much more beneficial than someone buying i don't know something you know what i, I mean like exactly what, you mean. what what's left of the world like when we leave at least someone knows like we gave them something good exactly you know what i mean and mm-hmm. it's like that energy and that work like to get there like yeah. it matters to me at least and you so know? many people that are watching you that are resonating with what you're saying and that are feeling you know um that connection too like we don't realize it but we really are you know like connecting with so many people and it's it's a lot more than you expect mm-hmm. like you're kind of like i think we doubt ourselves a little bit where it's For like sure I don't know if this will people will like this. And it's like, Mm -hmm. boom, 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 boom. Like, thank you so much for doing this, like for saying this. And it's like, it makes it worth it. It makes it worth it. I think that's what motivates me. I don't know about you, but Mm -hmm. it definitely motivates me. Yes, definitely. Um, Oh, my God. So what do you feel like during this whole journey from point B to point to point A to point Mm -hmm. B? My alphabet. (laughs) (laughs) Point A to point B. What do you feel like you've learned the most? Um... Like, the biggest lesson, like... The biggest lesson I've learned... I feel like I've learned a lot of lessons. I'm still learning a lot to this very day. Um, But I guess I... You know, I was always, like, a yes person. Mm -hmm. Where, like, my team would come to me. Mm -hmm. And even things that were, like, inconveniences. I'd be like, yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Like, I just wanted to please everybody. Mm -hmm. I'm a, like... I was... I still am a big people pleaser. But, like, I was very much just, yes, yes, yes. And now I've really learned to, like, put my foot down, even if I'm going to come across, maybe sometimes I might even come across, like, mean or something to, like, you know, with my team. Like, I have to because over the years, I feel like a lot of times um, I wasn't taken advantage of. I was just kind of like, I feel like things could have been better in certain situations. And I was just such a people pleaser that I didn't put my foot down a lot. And over time, like, I had to, like, turn on that boss mode. It's, like, it's not about being, like, nice. It's about, like, things getting done right. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's something I've learned a lot. Like, I really put my foot down now. I feel like I was like that, too. Where it's, like, but no one's going to do the job the way that you do it. And it's, like, Like, you have to say it Mm -hmm. in order to be happy. Literally. Like, this is our livelihood. This is what we do. And it's, like, if it doesn't go your way, it's kind of, like, you, you don't want to ha- do it anymore. Yeah, so, you have to be picky in some aspects, you know. So, um, for sure. Can I ask you about your surgery? Yeah, of course. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you feel like you did it because of social media? Or you did it because of you. I did it because of me. Okay. Good. I, you know, I can't sit here and say like I didn't do it because to be skinny. Because like, of course, I wanted to be skinny. You know, mm-hmm. I'm like, I gotta be real, girl. Like, I did always think like, dang, like I lucky would want to be skinny. You know, like, <laughs> right? But um, I mean, I feel like, I mean, it's hard because of course those comments do get to you. I can't mm-hmm. sit here and be like, I've never cared for any fat comment. And like, no, yeah, like in the beginning, like back then, like I would get them so so much. They made me like really insecure. So I can't lie and say it didn't. But I've been looking into this for years, not because of people calling me fat, but something that I genuinely was interested in. And it took me a long time to like finally make the decision Mm. because, you know, it's like it's a pretty invasive surgery. They go into your organs. Yeah, it is. And then also like it's also a very like mental thing, too, Mm -hmm. you know, because like 
you know, we seek food for everything to, you know, to celebrate something. What do you do? You go out to dinner. Yeah. Any social gatherings, dude? Food everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. You go out with your friends. Let's go get food. Mm -hmm. You go somewhere with family. Food, food, food. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. So when you make something, a big decision like that, where you literally take out, let's say take out your whole stomach, (laughs) take out like a big portion of your stomach. Yeah. Uh, you know and then the first month you can't eat you're like doing liquids it's really hard that's when you realize like dang like food is a huge part of my life it is i don't know if you know but i got it when i was 14 yes when i did did it with my mom yeah my mom took me oh my god girl my mom was very hard (laughs) on me my mom was so Mm -hmm. hard on me and my sisters that we had to go well she took me and one of my best friends at the time to get it and i know what you're talking about and i think that was a mistake of her to take me at that age. My mom, I think because she struggled so much when she was younger mm-hmm. about her weight, like she instilled that in me and my sisters, like, wake up, let's go on the treadmill. Like, and I mm-hmm. I see the good intention behind it. I get it. Like now that I'm older, but it did cause a lot of insecurity in me. Mm-hmm. And, you know, she sent me and Jackie both to fat camp where we wow. had to go and like mm-hmm. cut this weight and then she's just like you know what this is when the gastric became a thing oh it was like new. when it was like i felt like a lab rat oh like God. i literally felt like one i was like I'm, i was 14 like how are you gonna let a 14 year old get surgery obviously consent it was young. in mexico you know it is what it is and my mom was so excited you could go work out start mm-hmm. working out two weeks after like oh my gosh okay cool Mm-hmm. whatever she's like i just want you to look i want you to fit into your quinceanera dress that was right before my quinceanera mm. so whatever <laughs> now that i see everybody getting in i'm like i really hope that coming from where i was like i really hope that people do it for themselves and Absolutely. i'm really happy because you look amazing Thank i congratulate you, you. like Thank you. you look good and i like i love that you did it for you Mm-hmm. after Mia, like, yeah. you know, you didn't really, yeah. I thought you looked good even before. Thank you. Like, Thank you. I was just like, oh, body down. You're I'm like, like okay, oh, now she's, now she's, she's a little pole now. Girl, I'm <laughs> she's done. Small. She said stick. No, but- <laughs> <laughs> like, she told the doctor, can you make me do this? <laughs> I'm done. A pencil? Like, why? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was like, oh, I'm really happy. And Alan too, like, yeah. I feel like, People have I know deserve mean, the right to do it for themselves and to feel mm-hmm. good. And even then, people think it's like you got the easy way out. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I'm like no, girl, it's pretty hard. Like it's hard. Like I know the mm-hmm. mental strain. Like my hair still hasn't grown back, girl. Like I my wear extensions out. all the time. Like mm-hmm. it's it's emotional and it's a lot of mm-hmm. mental. Like yeah, like food. Like it's I hard. fucked it up because my parents passed away and I just kept eating and eating and eating. It's hard. It's hard. It's so it's like, change. I congratulate you. Like you Thank have you. all this shit going on and you're still focused on you and your well being. And I think that's so important. Like as a mom and as a wife, like, and as a sister, like you really got to take the time for you. Mm-hmm. So, and it is hard, you know, like the surgery, people think like, Oh, you got the easy way out. Like you still got to put in the work, you know, like just cause they're taking a portion of your stomach out. Like you decide on what you eat too and stuff. Like even now, like I do struggle to, you know, I will have carbs and I'm like, Oh my God, I shouldn't be eating this or that, you know? So I try to be careful, but, and it's also like a mental change that you have to make. Like it's, it's so much harder than it looks. And but, you're so hard on yourself. Like say you gain a pound or whatever. Exactly. It's like, yeah it's traumatizing but i agree with you like you know i don't think it should be seen like as a trend where people are like oh well i just want to be skinny i'm just gonna do it i think this is a decision that you know should take time and you should really think about you know now that i've been open about doing it a lot of people have messaged me like oh i want to do it i just want to do it or like i'll have people my friends like literally tell me like i'm gonna do it and i'm like do you even like know what this what is it comes like with. look mm-hmm. into it like really like really do your research because it's not just like oh like yeah i'm just gonna do it like no everything changes after that yeah. and you can't go back they can't just put your stomach back in again no you know i mean so, you could mess it up like your stomach that, could yeah. stretch and like mm-hmm. all that stuff but it's like it's hard yeah. you spend this money to do it yeah so it's exactly. kind of like no i agree I agree that, like, yeah. if you guys want to do this, like, really mm-hmm. do your research. But 14, it is young. Because I feel young. like um, I actually had somebody message me, ask me. They were like, I'm 18. Do you think it's a good age? And I said no. I feel like this is a decision that you should make, like, on your own and do your own research and stuff. You or know? be mentally, like, ready, uh-huh. prepared. Exactly. And I feel like also you got it, like, when it first started. Mm-hmm. People didn't know, like, 
um about all this like now like you have to get like a psych evaluation and all this stuff yep. because it's harder at the time you know maybe like yeah. even your mom didn't know mm-hmm. like everything that really goes into it mm-hmm. you know it, yeah. when you think of the idea when you f- first it sounds hear, nice and pretty i'm gonna get yeah. skinny when like, i heard first heard of the gastric sleeve or just gastric surgery i'm like oh my god take a portion of your stomach out you eat less po- you eat smaller portions it sounds like a dream you know because that's what your your goal is you're like i just wish i could just eat like normal portions but you don't realize like how much m- more it is or like you know but or yeah. how much you did eat yeah it's like damn like and it's not i don't i personally don't think like what you're eating right now is like a normal is like a normal portion and they're small yeah yeah they're small mm-hmm. they're really, really small. tiny and it's like you have to get your protein in you mm-hmm. have to get like all this stuff and it's like it's it's yeah. a lot of it's a lot into it and it's a decision that you have to feel really really good about and yeah, have support for sure. I feel like having support is so important, like, mm-hmm. you know, with your siblings or, like, friends, like, okay. Yeah, like, like, my brother did it, so, like, we, like, lean on each other a lot for it, mm-hmm. and I have friends who did it, so it's good to have a support system for sure. Or letting yeah. people know, like, this is my new life, like, can mm-hmm. you guys, like, yeah, like, can you guys kind of, like, go yeah. along or, like, respect it, like, don't eat this or, like, or even mm-hmm. anybody that's on a diet, like, they're you know, new year, new me, like, mm-hmm. I think... You have to find people that are kind of on the same page and kind of just yeah. work with you, like growing together. Yeah, true, definitely. <sighs> so, okay, we talked about your business. We talked about your m- being a mama and all this stuff. What do you feel is like a, the best advice that you can give someone in your position? Like, mm-hmm. aside from influencing and all that stuff, like you have a busy, you got you got a schedule going on. Mm-hmm. What's the like, advice that you can give? For mothers, wives, and people that, like, are looking to do, you know, different things in their lives. Like, what do you feel like you can, what advice can you give? You know, it's hard. I feel like in my position, I am really extremely grateful for having my husband work with me where we're both taking care of Mia. Like, even even the both of us, you know, both raising our daughter, I think about how even that's hard and I'm like, I give it up to single parents because genuinely it's so, so hard and not everybody could, you know, take their kid to their grandma's house or to their aunt's house for as a babysitter so that they could go work. Mm -hmm. So it's really, really, really hard. I would just say, take it one day at a time. Mommy life is hard. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's like this this dream that you see and you're like, oh my God, it looks so beautiful. And it is, it's so rewarding. Like truly having my daughter, like she just, uh, I, I could be having a, a shitty day and the moment I get home and see her smile, I'm like, mm-hmm. girl, like she makes everything worth it. Everything is worth it I with her. That. So it's it's so rewarding, but it you know, it's hard. It it's hard and you have your breakdowns you're like am i doing enough am i a good enough of a mom like she's so spoiled by my husband like she's a daddy's girl like it i'm so dramatic if she <laughs> runs to him and she says no to me or something i'll be like oh, i'm a horrible mother <laughs> and no. i think a lot of us do that like mom guilt yeah. or like if i go out somewhere like mm-hmm. if i'm out drinking i'm like my baby's at home i, I gotta go like mm-hmm. i gotta go she probably misses us so I would just say to all the mothers out there, just you're doing amazing as long as, you know, you to your kid, you could literally be falling apart to your kid. You're like a goddess and you are the world. They literally think you're literally. a superhero. They they do. And like, I'm like, girl, I'm a mess. Thing. I'm like, I'm falling apart. One just like, she's like when you're asleep, holding on <laughs> by a strand, girl. And she's like, you're amazing. And that alone, I'm like, it's worth it. It's worth I it. I love that. You're, you are a superhero. You're amazing. You're, you guys <laughs> are doing you. so amazing. Aside from, you know, you as an influencer, like, you're a great friend. You have Aww, so you many, you. like, you guys are just amazing. Like, you guys have thank beautiful you. hearts. And I wish you guys nothing but the best. Likewise. Thank and you so much. All these babies. Like, I feel like <laughs> you guys have great intentions and good hearts. And, thank you know. You. It's where it comes back to you, like what you mm-hmm. offer to the world, like yeah. your good heart, like it'll come back to you. I'm really strong believer in that. Same. And I just I'm so grateful. To, like I get to know you guys and, Thank you know, you. your family as a whole, like you guys mm-hmm. are just have such good energy. Um, Thank you. So I'm just happy. I'm really happy that our paths have crossed and we get to just relate Me to too. each other somehow, some way. Um, all right. 
Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. This was amazing. Where can people find you, slime, all that stuff? Uh, you can find me on, you know, on social media, Karina Garcia or like Karina Bear Vlogs. Uh, Squishy Bunny is our slime shop, so they sell out there. every what is it every Sunday <laughs> on Sundays, yeah. Restocks. <laughs> Good luck. But thank you so much, dude. Oh, like this course. is an honor. I like truly that. iconic. I'm here for Aww. it. Love thank all the episodes. You. This was great. Thank, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so I'm so 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 happy. I'm happy that I have the opportunity to have you here. So thank you guys so much for watching, for listening again from wherever you guys are at. Make sure you guys follow Karina, Squishy Bunny, all the good things. If you guys want to see more of her stuff, um, I hope you guys got something from here and know that we love you guys. And um, yeah, thank you so much. Make you guys thank follow, you. subscribe, comment, give the podcast a review. And I can't wait to see you guys next Thursday. Bye.